peeps, how are you? So we're going to start a series. Um, we're going to we're going to see what you guys think. We want to call it Motivational Mondays. Um, so this is kind of going to be our first one. I'm going to find out what you guys think about it. And then when I get back from Europe, depending on your comments on whether you liked it or didn't like it, we will decide whether or not we're going to do a series where we do that every Monday. You guys will get a video about motivation. <laughs> so we're going to try this one. I'm going to go to Europe for a couple weeks. When I get back, we'll make the decision. But um, we wanted to do something called Motivational Mondays because we feel like Mondays a special day where everyone seems to need motivation because we've just come out of a weekend, everybody's had fun, it's been exciting, and now it's Monday and everybody's got to go back to work and we all need a little motivation. <laughs> so, um, you know, today I want to talk about how you overcome going into dark places when bad things happen to you. Um, bad things could be anything. It could be the loss of a puppy or a dog or a pet. It could be a divorce. It could be losing a best friend. It could be losing a child, a dad, a mom. It, it could be death. It could, it could be a number of things. And the one thing that happens when bad things happen to people is they go into dark places. And when they go into a dark place, it could be anything from overeating, because we all know how food is so comforting. Um, it could be something as bad as not eating. You know, you, you lose your appetite. Um, Y'all have, have seen when people get divorced, a lot of times they call it the divorce diet. That's because when you're emotional and things are happening and it's sad, some people just lose their appetite. I'm one of those people. Uh, but some people eat. Uh, because they find a lot of comfort in food. Um, but, you know, I've always found that the one thing that helped me get through any dark moment in my life was fitness. When I got divorced, the two times that I've been divorced, fitness was my go-to. When I lost my brother at 23, I was really, really, really sad. Like, my brother was my best friend, my buddy, my pal. Like, he was my everything. And when I lost him, it became very dark. Also because my marriage was falling apart at the same time. And so it was kind of like a double whammy, you know? Um, and so, but I found if I could go to the gym and take my frustrations and my sadness out on the weights, it was a godsend. And, and then I lost my son in 2006 to a car accident. Once again, that pain was so overwhelming that I went really into a dark place. And the doctors kept saying, we can give you medication. We can give you antidepressants. We can, we can numb the pain for a while. And I was like, why would I want to numb the pain for a year or two or three or four or 10, whatever, and then suddenly come off the medication and go, okay, now I have to deal with that pain. It was like, no, I have to deal with this pain head on right now but you guys, it, that pain was, I can't even describe the pain. I mean, I was suicidal for a while. I, I didn't want to live, but I kept looking at my daughter saying, I have to live for her, you know? I can't be selfish. But once again, like I said, people, when you go into those dark lulls, it's really scary because you could literally go down there and stay down there. I know. I know, I've been there so many times in my life between divorces and deaths and crap, just bad crap happening to you in life. You know, it's, it's so easy to fall into that depressing area and, and, and stay there. But you can't let yourself stay there, guys. I mean, like, come on. You only have one life. We have one life on this earth. One time. We don't get to go, you know, towards the end of our life and go, oh, wait, excuse me, God, can, can you give me back those 20 years where I was like so screwed up and, you know, just wasn't thinking right and drinking too much and on drugs. I mean, you don't get a restart, guys. This, this isn't dress rehearsal. This is the real deal. So, you know, my philosophy is this. This is my one and only time here. I'm not screwing it up. Like, I'm getting the most out of it while I'm here. Literally, when I land in that coffin, and there will be skid marks. 
of me going 900 miles an hour, skidding all the way before I land in that coffin. Because I'm still going to be doing as much as I can for as many people as I can and making sure I leave a tremendous, huge legacy on this earth when I leave. They're gonna remember, remember the Teresa Romero. Romero. So the one thing you have to remember is tomorrow is never given. You know, nowhere is it written where tomorrow you get to wake up again. I mean, you're gonna be, you're lucky if you get to wake up again. That's why when I wake up in the morning, I'm like, thank you, God. Thank you for allowing me to be here another day, to do your work, and make my footprint on this earth while I'm here. There is no tomorrow. I, it, it's not a given. You know, you could go to sleep tonight and not wake up tomorrow. So my motivation out of this whole message is, what are you waiting for? What are you waiting for? Don't wake up and go, okay, today is Tuesday. What am I gonna do? God, God, God. You know, you need to wake up and go, Thank you, Lord, I'm here again today, and this is what I'm gonna do, boom. I mean, you need to make sure that you make at least five people a day smile. You need to make sure that you're not wasting one minute on this earth, not one minute, because I'm not, I'm not. I'm, 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 I'm kicking butt and taking names while I'm here. Mm -hmm. And if I ever have a thought of something that I wanna do, you know what I do? I do it. I don't sit around and think about it. I don't go, hmm, I wonder if I should. I do it because I'm gonna say this. When I'm sitting on that rocking chair on my porch when I'm in my 90s, I'm by God gonna say, you know what? I did it all. I have no regrets. I might've failed at some things. I might've succeeded at some things, but you know what? I have no regrets. I did it all. If it came to my mind, I did it. I didn't ask for, for permission. I didn't, I didn't have to ask for permission, I just did it. And you don't have to ask for permission either. As long as you're not hurting someone and it's not illegal, you don't have to ask for permission. Just get out there and do it. My favorite saying is get out of your own way because most of the time people, the person that's standing in your way of success is yourself. Get out of your own way, make stuff happen. Make your imprint today on this earth. So with that said, I hope you got a little bit of a message out of today's message. Um, let me know what you think. We will decide when I get back from Europe. Yes, I'm going to go to Europe, guys. I have to go to a destination wedding in Venice, Italy. It's going to be so much fun. Um, but yes, so once we see the comments from this, we will determine on whether or not we will do a series um, called Motivational Mondays. And so we're gonna try a, a lot of different things. I know you guys have really started to be happy that I'm back and we're really popping out these, these videos. Um, I'm so excited to be back, it feels good. We're trying to, go to, we're gonna try to be doing this three days a week, probably Monday, Wednesday, Fridays, so that you guys can look forward. Oh my God, it's when, Wednesday's tomorrow, another video, woo! So we're gonna stay on track, we're not gonna let you guys down, because guess what? You guys are my favorites, you are. So make sure you subscribe, make sure you tell your friends to subscribe, make sure you tell your friends to come watch this channel. We're gonna be doing some hilarious crap on this channel, believe me, seriously. Wait till you see the videos that are coming out in the next couple weeks, you're gonna crack up. So with that said, I hope you all have a good rest of your day and peace out.